everyone so this is shruti ahuja welcome to need to doctor so in this video i am going to talk about mbbs first year practicals uh, basically it's anatomy uh, specific video today okay so here um, i am going to give you an overview how the final practical exams are obviously this varies from college to college university to university but yes there is some basic pattern in which you can just get an idea and uh, some basic idea of how to attempt all the questions in the practical exam and how to deal uh, with um, each and every uh, like uh, event which is going to take place in your anatomy practical exams so first of all what you need to do is um, if you have attended uh, the first year and in internal assessment practicals then i am sure then uh, you must be knowing how the practicals are conducted actually and what all specimens and everything and how the teachers take the viva and everything right but if you have just joined first year and you are going to attend then you need to uh, like um, ensure that Uh, you make a list of all the things which are included in your practicals because it varies in every college and what all slides you need to click the photos of the slides and um, for the spotting and ospi also uh, your college will guide you but yes you need to collect the information and make pdfs so that it will be helpful in your finals but if you are going to give final uh, like this month or the next month then you need to ensure that you follow all these tips because these will help you at the last moment also so first of all make a list which i have discussed next for histo histology is the maxim like most scoring part right and it is the easiest one if we ignore histology then it is a like very big mistake right so first of all you need to ensure that you have pdf of all the slides which are like uh, usually given Uh, you, which you are shown uh, in your colleges right you need to uh, make a pdf of all the slides maybe your seniors uh, will give you the uh, that pdf or uh, you have made uh, your own pdf when these slides were shown in your histology classes but uh, if you don't have any pdf then obviously you need to refer to one of the pdf which i have given in my telegram group or any uh, like uh, picture book like i b singh and all you can refer those right or shetty next uh, pdf of all the slides then write two features of or whatever uh, uh, related question is asked um, in histology right um, like in our college two feature two identifying features were asked and the locations or like if there is hyaline cartilage then uh, i need to write the two features like it is bluish in appearance hyaline uh, glossy the cell nest and lacunae and all all that theek okay? hai and then you also need to write the normal locations where that hyaline cartilage is present similarly for all the slides make a list write it in your notebook or in the annotate in the pdfs so that would help you to revise right if you will revise such a whole ib singh histology book that won't help you won't be able to recall anything when you will be writing the ospi so the main point of ospi and spotting is you need to make a concise resource so that you can replicate while uh, writing your uh, final ospi exam because you just have only 1 to 2 minutes per spot right next for grand slide you need to practice the drawing many people ask how can we how do we draw in such a less time and uh, how can we remember the drawings and of all the histology slides it is very easy just like you have learned the two features na you have to learn the important features of all the slides and if you know how to draw a smooth muscle then you can draw it right if you know how to draw squamous epithelium then you can draw it like similarly for cuboidal and all other epitheliums and all right if you know how to draw each and every point then you can easily make the whole diagram if you know the important features of every uh, slide right next what comes is uh, like for the grand viva in uh, yes but in spot um, the histology grand viva slide uh, sometimes uh, the professors or teachers also take the viva right uh, then uh, also you need to know the normal locations of that you need to know what are the important features and also sometimes you also need to know what are the stains which are used in histology okay 
next comes the spotting and osp of the gross anatomy in which we have all the specimens um, all the bone marked and all right the radiology also sometimes there so that uh, grand uh, the gross anatomy um, spotting or osp in this uh, sometimes here confuse what will come in the spotting we don't know but yes you can predict that's uh, how like uh, you can make a list of all the like bone if it is like femur then you can write what are the important features of the femur and what are the muscle attachments of the femur you can just make a small notebook and write one page femur then one page next bone then another page next bone right that way you can just remember what are the important points and if you have attended your again internal assessment or sp and uh, your classes then teachers must be telling you that uh, what are the important sp or uh, spotting points right like the adductor tubercle and uh, some of the muscle attachments of the medial uh, condyle and all these are the main important questions right all we all know if you have studied the throughout the year and if you have not then um, i don't know so next comes uh, grand viva in grand viva you have the radiology embryo surface marking and gross anatomy viva so in radiology i have a pdf i have uh, annotated myself and some uh, points are from my seniors so that radiology pdf um, and if you have your own you can follow that very well right so you need to know all the important points of that x ray right um, also some in some colleges mris and your ct scans and all are also asked um, and so in our also a uh, college also so that also you need to know what are the contrasts and all what are the types of the scans and all you need to know everything and the uh, barium swallow enema and all these everything you need to know right then um, this you from the source is halims in which we have surface marking and radiology both and um, you can also refer bdc if it is given in your books right then uh, comes embryo models embryo models it is different in every college but for our college i have drawn um, like i have annotated all the models and i have uh, i will put in my telegram group as well next comes surface marking in surface marking um, again anything can come it is up to the external or the teacher who is taking the viva but there are some important points like um, it goes through if you don't know anything now like they have uh, asked you about ulnar nerve you know where is ulnar nerve but you just need to know some points like uh, some of the centimeters and all the point a point b how to make that right if you have an idea about that now like how to start the surface marking then you can just continue it in your own words you can just tell now it will go here it will go here then it will go give this branch at this point you can just speak out the theory in surface marking right but the main point is how you start how you locate that right by the centimeters the precise measurements then comes the gross anatomy in gross anatomy um, again some specimens are already well preserved and they are specific they are special for the your viva purpose right so if you have seen those specimens beforehand um, and if you have done the dissection well throughout the year then it can go well and if you and if you have not done dissection let's uh, take a case if you have not done dissection and if you have not seen the specimens as well then you can watch the youtube videos there are many youtube uh, resources like gp pal uh, your uh, many anatomy practical uh, resources right you can refer them and um, if you have a basic idea of uh, where is like if you can locate the nerves in the brachial plexus if you can locate if you uh, like the external would just pick up a, a nerve and all or any artery they will tell you what is identify it first of all they will tell identify then they will ask you how you identified with the help of like what structures and why it is that okay if it is a nerve what is the consistency and what is the difference between a nerve and an artery these, these are the basic questions pass fail questions you need to know then after that you will be asked for the questions if you pass these two stages so first of all identification then how and why and then further questions further questions are just from the theory what are the sub, like what does it supply and uh, some extra clinical questions can also come okay and yes in the gross anatomy viva sometimes the teacher are so keen they also ask the embryology of that structure 
okay uh, for example eye if you have got a specimen of eye then they can ask you the embryology of eye it is a very basic uh, like uh, yes if you have studied embryology then you can just tell some points about it right in the gross anatomy uh, because that will give you an edge over and better marks so this was all about gross uh, anat like the anatomy practicals but yes two additional uh, points are though that um, in anatomy practical you need to ensure that you take your own forceps your brush yeah the paint brush kind of thing um, along with you because these and the gloves and all we all know right but these are the the forceps and the brush are the main things which you should have when you are going to give your um, anatomy practical viva right thank you very much and if you like this video then do share it with your friends and because sharing is caring